question marks will always be raised, as I mentioned, on the eventual winner due to the dispute between R.S. Burkhani and USM Alger ahead of this finals. Did CAF handle this one correctly? Adele. Well, CAF has been clearly tied up with its own charter and um, bureaucratic um, steps in resolving these issues. And this is not just the first case where we see um, CAF stumbles to issue a quick and immediate um, intervention when it comes to a timely manner like this one. In several other occasions, um, only things that might have been cleared by the um, governing African football uh, organization gets more complicated because of this delay and the games are proceeding uh, without stop and that's why the same has been happening again in that let's not forget also that it was um, Aras Berkan who came out of the announcement reporting on behalf of CAF instead or at least beating it to the media and to the announcement before um, CAF itself made uh, makes the announcement um, that the match will go um, to RS Berkan due to the sanctions and due to um, the issues that erupted between um, um, the, the Algerian side and uh, Morocco. And therefore, um, the organization needs seriously to look up into this. There must be um, in place um, effective and um, uh, rapid uh, means to take decisions for such an urgent issue so that no further uh, escalations and no further um, contradictions or ob ob objections to the outcomes of the competition shall follow. Now, this is the Confederation Cup, so it has not been as intense. But imagine if that has been part of the Champions League or later on in the African Football League, um, the fight will be fierce.